minus cos c is nothing but cos a plus b. If you want cos c, then it is minus cos a plus b. So rearrange the terms wherever you get the constant. Apply sin c, sin d, cos a, cos b like that formulas, transformation formula. We apply the transformation formula for the first one. It is in the form of cos a, cos b. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is your Shruti Ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysuru. So in today's session, we will continue few more problems on trigonometric. That is, our five marks questions will be discussed, which is important for your examinations. The very first question here is, if A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degree, then prove that sin 2A plus sin 2B plus sin 2C is equal to 4 sin A sin B sin C. So whenever A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees given, we have learned three conditions that is sin of A plus B is sin C, cos of A plus B is minus cos C and tan of A plus B is equal to minus tan C. So this is one A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degree which are the angles of a triangle. Now let us consider the left hand side part that is sin 2A plus sin 2B plus sin 2C. Now take the first two terms see that as sin c and sin d. So now this is in the form of sin c plus sin d. So then how I can write this? 2 sin a plus b by 2. That is 2a plus 2b by 2. So which becomes a plus b. And cos a minus b by 2. 2a minus 2b divided by 2 where 2 cancels. So this becomes cos a minus b. And take the sin 2c as multiple angle formula. Write this in the form of 2 sin c cos c. So plus 2 sin c cos c. Next, you can look here. You have sin a plus b. You can replace it with by sin c. So here it is 2 sin c cos a minus b plus 2 sin c cos c. Again you have a common factor there that is 2 sin c. Take it as a common factor then it is 2 sin c cos of a minus b plus cos c. And here replace cos c by cos of a plus b but here minus cos c is nothing but cos a plus b. If you want cos c then it is minus cos a plus b. So the value becomes 2 sin c into cos of a plus b and in the place of cos c I am writing here minus cos of a minus b. So here in this step we will use one more transformation formula that is cos of a plus b minus cos of a minus b. When you multiply it with half, it is nothing but cos sin a and sin b. So since half is not there, I can write this as minus 2 sin a and sin of minus b. Now multiplying, we will get it as minus 4 sin a sin b sin c. Now sine of negative angle is minus sin theta. So therefore when you write it outside it becomes plus. So the answer is 4 sin A sin B sin C. That is equal to the RHS of the required result. Next we have one more question. Prove that sin 20 degree, sin 40 degree, sin 60 degree, sin 180 degree is equal to 3 by 16. So here let me take the left hand side that is sin 20 degree sin 40 degree, sin 60 degree and sin 80 degree. So we know the value of sin 60 which is nothing but root 3 by 2. So we are left with 
sin 20 degree sin 40 degree into root 3 by 2 into sin 80 degree. We will keep root 3 by 2 first and we will take the product of sin 20 into sin 40 into sin 80. Now this is in the form of sin A sin B. Whenever you have sin A sin B. So it is root 3 by 2 divided by minus half cos A plus B that is 20 plus 40 which is 60 degree minus cos A minus B that is you can take this as rearrange this as 40 and 20 only. So you will get this as cos 20 degree because 20 minus 40 is minus 20 and cos of minus 20 is cos 20 itself. So it is cos 60 minus cos 20 and outside you have sin 8 degree. Now multiply this you will get it as minus root 3 by 4 multiply sin 80 now. So it is cos 60 into sin 80 minus cos 20 into sin 80 degree. Now here cos 60 value is 1 by 2. So it is half sin 80 minus cos 20 into sin 80. Now again multiply minus root 3 by 4 inside. So it becomes minus root 3 by 8 sin 80 degree minus minus into minus is plus root 3 by 4 cos 20 sin 80. Now again this is in the form of cos A sin B. Now here it is minus root 3 by 8 sin 80 degree outside you have root 3 by 4. So inside it is half into sin A plus B that is sin 100 plus sin A minus B that is sin 60. So here we have minus root 3 by 8 sin 80 degree. When you multiply this is again root 3 by 8 sin 100 degree can be written as sin 180 minus 80 degree plus sin 60 it is root 3 by 2. Next we will continue it. So it is minus root 3 by 8 sin 80 degree plus. So here you have root 3 by 8 into sin 180 minus theta is sin theta itself. So this becomes plus root 3 by 8 sin 80. Next you have here it is root 3 by 2 and here it is root 3 by 8. So this becomes plus 3 by 8 to the 16. You can see minus root 3 by 8 sin 80 plus root 3 by 8 sin 80 cancel. The resultant is 3 by 16. Hence the result is true. So rearrange the terms wherever you get the constant. Apply sin c, sin d, cos a, cos b like that formulas, transformation formula. Again take sin 100 as sin 180 minus 80 so that you will get the common factor in plus and minus. They will get cancelled and you are left with 3 by 16. Next the same problem as in the first problem we have sin 2a sin 2b minus sin 2c. So remember when a, b, c are the angles of a triangle remember the formula of sin a plus b as sin c cos a plus b as minus cos c tan a plus b as minus tan c for rearrangement. So let us consider the left hand side here it is sin 2a plus sin 2b minus sin 2c. Now sin 2a plus sin 2b that is sin c plus sin d value is equal to 2 sin a plus b by 2. So therefore it is a plus b only because when you take 2a 
plus 2b by 2 where 2 factors get cancelled and you are left with a plus b. Similarly, when it is 2a minus 2b by 2, again 2 is a common factor, you will get back only a minus b. So, 2 sin a plus b cos a minus b and write this as 2 sin c cos c. Sin a plus b can be written as sin c. So, it is 2 sin c cos a minus b minus 2 sin c cos c. Next, take 2 sin c as common factor. You are left with cos a minus b minus 2 sin c you have taken out. So, it is cos c. Minus cos c is nothing but what? Remember, sin of a plus b is equal to sin c. Cos of a plus b is equal to minus cos c. So, you can replace for cos c. That is minus cos c is nothing but cos a plus b. So, from here we can write it as 2 sin c cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. Now, again here 2 sin c. So, this is cos a minus b plus cos a plus b. So, that is equal to 2 cos a cos b. The transformation formula 2 into 2 is 4 cos a cos b sin c. So, the right hand side of the given result. Hence, it is proved. Next question. Prove that cos 20, cos 40, cos 80 is equal to 1 by 8. So, first rearrange the LHS term as cos 40 into cos 20 into cos 80 degree. Apply the transformation formula for the first one. It is in the form of cos A, cos B. So, if you have cos A, cos B, then it is half cos A plus B that is cos A plus B means 40 plus 20 is 60 degree plus A minus B that is 40 minus 20 is equal to cos 20 degree into cos 8 degree. Now cos 60 degree is nothing but 1 by 2. So therefore half half plus cos 20 into cos 8 degree. Now multiply half and cos 80 to other terms. So it is half into half is 1 by 4 cos 80 plus 1 by 2 cos 20 cos 80. Now take it as cos 80 and cos 20. So rearrange this 1 by 4 cos 80 plus 1 by 2 cos 80 plus cos 20. Now this is 1 by 4 cos 80 degree plus 1 by 2. This is again in the form of cos A cos B which can be written as half into cos of A plus B which is cos 100 plus cos of A minus B which is cos 60. Now multiply the other terms half cos 80 degree plus 1 by 4 cos 100 degree plus 1 by 4 cos 60 degree. Now cos 100 can be written as cos 180 minus 80 plus 1 by 4 cos 60 is 1 by 2. Now here 1 by 4 cos 80 degree cos of minus theta is minus cos theta. So it is minus 1 by 4 cos 80 degree plus 1 by 8. So minus 1 by 4 cos 80 degree plus 1 by 4 cos 80 degree get cancels. So you are left with 1 by 8. The value is true. So that is equal to the RH is part of the required result. Hence it is proved. So in this session we have discussed few problems on 5 marks question which is important for your examination. All the 5 marks questions in your examination based on the transformation formulas. 
So to solve any kind of problems, whether it is one mark, two marks or five marks question, all that is needed is you should know all the formulas of trigonometric identities and their transformation formulas. So the five marks question discussed in session seven and eight are very important in your examination point of view. This completes the chapter trigonometry. In the next session, we'll take up with a new chapter. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.